Good morning. Happy February 8th, and welcome back to the Leaf Riders of Renwood, where we are playing as Syl Blackbolt, who is a guard on their first day of duty. And we just had some time to kind of patrol the castle and just get used to it. And we ran into some of the other characters we played in previous weeks, and we ended about to go into the throne room. And we know that Merrick is likely in the throne room and just dealt with some intruders that came up from a tunnel in the ground. So let's see if if we see Merrick. We'll go ahead and tear this off. All right. Ah, so yes, we do indeed. And we do see Merrick mid-fight with with creatures. Very interesting. And the, the look on our face is not a pleased one, you can tell. I wonder if we're going to assume that Merrick is an, an intruder, or if we're going to assume Merrick was here to defend. Like, I, I wonder what we're going to think Merrick is here for. Uh, well, I guess, I guess we'll find out. So we have Thursday, February 8th, 2024, which is Thorns Day of Snow Send. And it says, you enter the throne room and discover what appears to be a thief. Looking beyond, you become more shocked to see he is fighting insects that have invaded the castle from a tunnel in the ground. You draw your sword and begin to attack the insects. Alright, so we can... We are assuming he's a thief right away. So, rip Merrick. <coughs> but, let's go ahead and deal with these insects. So... We need to make three attack rolls. The top of the page does mention if we have something written down. It's castle alert. However, I don't believe we do. So, uh, that does not affect us. So let's go ahead and, and start with the first one. This is our first combat here with Syl. But it feels like we we're going to be pretty good here in combat, even ignoring the fact that we have this equipment, um, or these items. If we want to use a health potion, we do have to use it at the start. But we're at 8, so I, th I think we will say we are good. So let's go ahead and roll our attack for insect number 1. <laughs> okay, we rolled a 2, which is uh, is not great. So that was a 2 on the die, plus a 3. And then we do have a combat tonic. Is that the one that we can add to our attack roll? Let's let's see. So combat tonic does add to an attack roll, but given that we're just at five, I don't think that's going to be worth it. Let's turn this here a little bit. Okay, five. So we'll roll damage, but I I don't actually think the damage is going to matter here. And damage is a d8. Five. Okay very consistent and then let's make our defense roll okay and that was a natural one okay so that uh, is uh, a guaranteed failure we can write the number but it uh, doesn't matter um, so that is a four so not starting off strong <laughs> in combat um, so, we have enemy number one has defense of 14 and a health of 3, an attack of 8, standard damage of 2, and partial damage of 1. And it says, the insect leaps at you with giant claws. So, we could try and use both a warding ointment and our... What was this one called? Luminous Shield. To try and and up our defense so that we only take the partial damage. We need to increase it by 4. So across 2d4, we should do that. As in, like, we are expected to do that. Um... So, yeah, I mean, 
we got you know we want to use those at some point so let's let's do that and the surges are per page so we we may as well go ahead and use one here I think the other option I guess is maybe we wanted to save that surge for for a damage roll that was like a bit low because that could prevent all damage and not just prevent a single damage. But I, I think we should take an opportunity to, to try and use it when we can. So let's go ahead and get rid of the warding ointment here. Try not to accidentally erase the combat tonic as well. There we go. And then I, I'm not going to bubble in the surge. I'll just remember that we used it. So let's go ahead and um, roll for the... Uh, warding ointment which was three that brings us up to seven so now we are guaranteed with the surge to to successfully defend we'll use it one okay <laughs> so we did get the four though so that puts us up to a defense of eight so we can go ahead and say eight okay so in that case we do manage to just take one damage instead of two so we go down to 7 HP. All right. Well, let's hope we can roll a little bit better on the second one. Insect number two, our attack roll. That is a little bit better. That's a 19. So we add 3, which is a 22. And I have to imagine that will hit. All right. Let's go ahead and roll damage. Whoop. Okay, uh, we rolled a 7, which again, I have to imagine is enough. And we will roll defense here, just in case we roll a 20 and get a boon. We did not. We rolled a 6, which goes up to 9. Which probably wasn't enough, to be honest. Because the first one seemed that to have uh, quite a high defense and then a low attack, so I wonder if this one's going to kind of balance out. We'll see. They tend to like try to do that to mix up how you know their stats. Okay, so enemy two, the flying insect hovers in the air, thrusting a spear at you, and I can see that. So it's got a defense of ten, which we absolutely crush. It's got a health of five, so we do vanquish it. It had an attack of 10, yeah, so the, the 9 was not enough. And it had standard damage of 2 and partial damage of 1. Okay. And now, insect number 3. We, that's cocked, so I'm just going to re-roll that, I think. It was probably a 13, but... <laughs> okay, well, we rolled a natural 1, so we definitely fail there. I'll write the 4, but it doesn't matter. Um, so there's really no reason to roll damage, but I'm going to just to fill out the chart, just so that it's it's fully filled out. Well, we had two where we hit the same number for the uh, attack of damage, which is not ideal, not ideal. Okay, well, let's hope we have a good defense roll here. Yes, that one's not cocked at all. Uh, 17, uh, which plus three for defense is 20. So that should be good. So at least we should only be taking partial damage here. So insect, uh, or enemy number three, has a defense of 12, which, yeah, we don't come close to, a health of four, so we would have vanquished it if we'd hit. It has an attack of 11, which we do successfully defend against. It's got standard damage of two and partial damage of one. The insect grabs hold of you and tries to slam you into the ground, and it definitely succeeds. Okay, so we take partial damage of one, which takes us down to six. So we're already at two-thirds health here with Sill. Hopefully we don't have to fight Merrick <laughs> next time, because that could not... Or I guess that could be dangerous. All right. So there's that. And then it says, If you did not kill all the insects, they flee from you in terror. Okay. They're scared of me, despite the fact that they were pretty effective. And uh, if we killed one enemy, we get to collect one amber. So we will go up to three. All right. And
and there we go. That was not very successful, which is interesting because, I mean, obviously, you can always just roll poorly, and we, we certainly did, but uh, this character feels like maybe the strongest combat character that we've seen with the plus three defense, plus three attack, and D8 damage. Those are just good. That's just good stats for for combat and we can we have this surge so we can boost a damage roll or a or a defense roll once uh, a day so that this feels like a really strong combat character so it's unfortunate that we uh certainly did not experience that this time i'm sure there will be plenty of other opportunities though so until then thank you so much for watching and have a great day